Hi guys, so I know it's been a while, but here's a video on five quick and easy hairstyles that are very ideal for school, or just pretty much if you're in a rush. And this first hairstyle is kind of like a sock bun. It looks like a sock bun, but I didn't use a sock. All I did was I teased just random parts of my hair. So you just take whatever you have, a rat tail comb, a brush. If you have a teasing comb, you can use that too. But just tease everywhere, pretty much. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your fingers and create a high kind of messy ponytail but you're not gonna tie it and instead you're gonna take your hand and you're just gonna put the thumb towards the front of your face and you're gonna twist backwards and it's gonna create a um, a bun like form and you're just gonna keep twisting until you get all the ends in and you're gonna take bobby pins and just pin as many times around the bun as you need it to need for it to stay and then you're gonna pull parts this is after you're done pinning. You're going to pull just parts of your hair out just to kind of voluminize the bun. And if you want, this part's optional, but I think it's really, really cute. I just added a bow in the back. And this one's my friend's bow from American Apparel. And this next hairstyle is kind of like a braided headband. I really like this. It's actually, you can actually do this. Well, I said actually like twice. You can do this if you're a basketball player and you're not allowed to use bobby pins for your basketball games. And you just take your hair, and it's pretty much like a sideways French braid, but a small one in the front. So all you're going to do is just piece it into three parts, and then take some from the front, and then put it over the middle strand, and then take some hair from the back, and put it over the middle strand. And you just keep going until you get kind of like a little mini braid headband. And then for this one, you're just going to keep doing it until you get to about like the corner of your eyebrow. And then you're going to stop picking up hair and just continue braiding it into just a normal braid. And if you're a basketball player and using this for basketball to keep your bangs back, um, you're just going to keep braiding it and then tie it up into the ponytail. But for this, it's just, I'm going to keep my hair down. So I just sectioned off a section of my hair and then I'm just going to bobby pin it underneath that section. And once I'm done bobby pinning it, I'm going to bobby pinning it. I'm going to put it back over where I pinned it. And just take some hair right behind the end of the French braid and just tease it. Just to give it a little bit more volume. You guys know me, I like volume in my hair. <laughs> That's pretty much the, that hairstyle. For this next one, it's kind of, it's pretty much a French braid. It's just, you angle it towards the side. And instead of starting right in the middle, you're going to start towards the side of your head. You can pick either side, but I found that starting on my left side was easier for me. So it's just a simple French braid. You're just going to pick up hair from the right side, add it in, pick up hair from the left side, and just keep going. And for this one, you just need to be careful. You just want to make sure that you angle it in the way that you'd like. And I'll show you guys what it looks like from the back. Ignore my hair. It's kind of kind of dyed my hair too much, so it's kind of uh it's kind of dead. Ah, and it's tangled there. Oh, and if you guys can't tell my roots are coming in. No, you guys can probably tell it's really bad. <laughs> so just continue braiding it in an angle, and as you see I'm trying to make it go to the opposite side of my head, towards the bottom. And then once you get towards the end, you're going to want to turn around and then just finish the braid from the front. And just braid it however far down you want and then secure it with the rubber band. You probably, I probably should have used a different color rubber band, but that's all I had at the moment. And then you're going to take your rubber band and pull it down carefully about two inches. And then you're just going to pull apart your braid just to loosen it up a little bit. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just pulling out some hair from the top just to kind of even out the shape and make it more volumized. And that's the third hairstyle. For this fourth hairstyle, it's kind of like a braided bun kind of thing. And all you need to do is just pull your hair into a low ponytail. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just however you like. If you want it neat, do it neat. If you want it a little more messy, you can do it messy. And then just secure it with the rubber band. 
Any rubber band is fine because it's going to cover up anyways. And then you're going to take your ponytail and you're just going to braid it into a simple three strand braid all the way down. And it's kind of tough to do so all I did was I just kind of pulled it to the front instead of doing it from the back. As you can tell I couldn't really, I didn't really know which way I was going but I finally figured it out. And then you're just going to keep braiding all the way down to the bottom. Try to go as far down as you can. And then you're going to secure it ideally with a small rubber band that's the color of your hair but all I had was blue so that's what I used. And then you're just going to shape it or actually you kind of make it into like a bun like we did in the first hairstyle. And then you're just going to pin it. And then just pin it as many times as you need to. I mean some people have thicker hair than others so if you have really thick hair use a lot of bobby pins. If you don't have thick hair then just use as many as you need. Um, you can just add like a little flower in it or you can add a bow. Anything is cute. Okay so this is my last hairstyle. This one's kind of the same thing as my other braided one except for this one I'm taking more hair. And it's pretty much the same concept. Just taking hair, adding it in, and just French braiding. And then once you get towards the back of your hair where you're going to make your ponytail, you're going to just braid normally. Like so. And you want to braid a little bit extra just in case it kind of loosens up towards the end. And here, if you guys can't hold it, you guys can always secure it with a little rubber band. I just held it with my hands and just pulled my hair back because I've done this so many times. But if you guys really need to, you can feel free to just tie a rubber band. And then once you tie this last rubber band, take off the one that you first did. And then just pull to secure and then loosen out the braid. And there you go. That's the fifth hairstyle.